So let's make these different buttons do different things. As you saw earlier, we can actually change the part of the media that's going to be played. I'm going to go ahead and double click so I can get to the media here. And I'm going to move this in point flag all the way up to number three here and the out point flag further in. So it's going to cut out before we get to number six. Let's go ahead and preview the disc. I'm going to hit enter for the highlighted first button there. Three, four, five. Okay, so we're back to the menu again, just playing those sections. And so we can set this button to start playing further in than the actual width of the media to start on that chapter. But there's a disadvantage to this. We can't navigate to before that point because we've told DVDA in this instance, the media doesn't really exist before that point. So we want to set it up to be able to come into a chapter, but also have the option later of navigating with the remote to go to an earlier chapter. So let's go out here and do it differently with this middle button. I'm going to double click, go to the media. I'm just going to point out here where the markers are and what they're named, which is really the default name, scene chapter, because I never did give these a name before. Let's go ahead and set this button up differently. I'm going to click once here, go to button properties, and the action of the button, which determines what happens when we hit that button. And you can see that the destination chapter by default is number one. It's going to start at the beginning of the media. So let's change that. I'm going to click once and you see this drop down come down. And we have these kind of nondescript scene chapter designations. I'm going to go ahead and select three. And let's go again to preview disk. I'm going to hit the arrow key to navigate to the middle button. Hit enter. Sure enough, it's going to start at three. Also notice that the destination chapter is now reflected here in a project overview. It's giving a little more information about that. But if you're working with a whole lot of chapters, and obviously most video isn't going to be visually segmented into one, two, three, four, the chapters might be meaningless. So let's go ahead and go to marker four, right click and rename that one. Let's just call that in all caps, four, or the number four, very creative. I'm going to go back. And now you've seen a drop down we have this designation for. So that's going to help on a more complex project when you have to keep track of what chapter equals what part of the video. But the important factor here is that now if we hit this button and play the video, even though it starts on four, the chapter button on the remote can be used to get before that point. We can go all the way back to number one. That wasn't the case earlier when the in and out flags were set.